what's going on guys uh it's one out here we having a bit of a struggle just taking out this panel but what you guys are seeing is we have a where's my lund we have our lund end gauge that we are installing into the car which is going to replace this ac vent right here what you have to do to start off first is remove this piece which is this little piece right here with one little clip it's harder than it looks I know it's just one clip, but that one clip really fucked up my fingers. And then this part is also another pain in the ass to get off, especially out here. But let's see if we can fully take it out because we still need to get back here, which is a bit harder than, or I mean, a bit easier. You might want to wiggle it as much as you can because you don't want to accidentally break one of these clips because they, they are, I think, I'm not sure if they're replaceable unless you buy, like, get a new dash from somebody. But yeah, it's really hard, especially doing this with one hand. Oh God, this is actually pretty hard. Just want to wiggle it. There we go. There we go. That's a lot of stuff flying out. Oh, there we go. As you can see, we didn't break anything it looked like we did probably just some bits of plastic that aren't really needed here's a piece of a clip but we can just slip it right back in i'm pretty sure it belongs to this one and boom there you go fixed now to get rid of the ac vent where your engage is going to go you know i think they said put on bed. push this one back this one back and then push these inward or also back let me see yeah back as well this one back as well and no push it. these inward i think and yep almost fell in there you go that's your ac vent not really much to nothing to it just a little ac vent look see not too much in there put this aside Oh shit, this is going to be a hard task to do. I'm pretty sure, I um, want to say I can install it while we put it back on there. But we do have to make sure that the uh, we put the wire through it. That's going to be another hard... Oh shit, pierced my finger. Fucking shit. So, let's just put our stick through there. Oh this technically is supposed to go through here and just to make it sit or it's upside down just to make it sit better we are going to put some 3m tape around it see it's like a perfect fit basically but with a 3m tape it's gonna really sink in there and be a perfect fit if i wanted to just pop it out i can just simply just push it from the back with the 3m tape it's gonna hold it in a lot more decent or decently in there and i'm probably gonna curve it a little bit as well so i can see it while i drive drive basically because when it's in normally it's probably too far deep to even see sometimes like so, all right guys so next thing what you want to do is you want to pull up this panel as well uh it's too dark to see but it's right under the, too the black. dash <laughs> and after that this is fairly easy i just got a little screwdriver and put it right here at that little corner and it just came off easily you're gonna want you're gonna want to open this up just to hardwire the the wire towards your um towards the end gauge and same for this side then for the next part you're going to want to take off this part just like on the other side in the beginning of the video and take off these bolts with a seven millimeter and after that we'll take off this panel or not this i mean but this whole piece right here actually and make sure you don't mess with it because you might actually mess with your uh your trunk opener so yeah stick around for that i'm gonna unscrew these and then take off this panel and we'll continue the video from there all right guys so this is probably the end result can you get the flashlight so they can see better oh, yeah cute damien can't see him but it's hershey oh. <laughs> all right guys so we basically stuffed it in there you know it's a real tight area but we got it in there as you can see here's where it, where it came out we hardwired it through the through this piece where i had it where i had it off where i showed you guys then through the steering column which is really easy to take off 
and then it all leads all the way down here as you can see there's the wire connecting to the for if it's i know it's not the ecu because ecu is in the engine right so it's connected there and the cool thing about the engage guys is you can actually read codes and shit like that and actually clear them so yeah that's gonna be a big old help i'm gonna seal it up and then show you guys the final result when i'm done with it we're gonna put everything back together and let's see how it looks all right guys we have it set up and everything let's see if this bitch works